right, guys, it is day two of our Las Vegas interviews. We are with Jeter K of Maybach Music Group. We are with Brandon Chris from Rat Plug. I'm working with Weasel. I'm super excited to be here. We have an incredible artist that has flown in from Tampa, Florida. Um, I've heard a lot about you. I was just out there a couple months ago with Antonio Brown, mm -hmm. and I was in a studio, and I met the producer, Star Command. Mm -hmm. Um, from that moment on, I realized Tampa has a lot of talent out there. Mm -hmm. Tampa has great producers. Tampa has good studios. Um, and he was talking about artists that want that would potentially want to come on the show. And the first person he thought of was you. He thought you were the one, um, the person that's going to come up and, and really come out of Tampa and doing something right now. Mm -hmm. So are, are you born and raised from Tampa? Yeah, of course. Um, you know what I'm saying? Not even off grid. You got to yeah, shout out to Star Command. Tell I appreciate that. Like, you know, put me on. On the map, just like that. But yeah, I'm originally from Tampa, Florida. Born and raised. Born and raised. Never left. Never left. How old are you now? Uh, 30. Okay. So yeah. I'm 34, bro. And I think we're right now at a pivotal, pivotal time in our lives. Mm -hmm. We're really trying to make it. We're trying to be successful. Um, I'm serious about my craft. I'm sure you're serious about your craft. Of course. When did you decide music was the route for you? Uh, I'm going to be honest with you. Is, uh, Really like about 60 days ago, man. 60 days ago? Yes, about 60 days ago, yeah. What happened 60 days ago that that light bulb went on and you said, I'm taking this music route seriously? Uh, I'm gonna keep it real. I got my brother, he, um, he in the feds, you know what I'm saying? He the one who- He locked up? Yeah, he locked up right now. How long is he uh, in there for? Uh, they gave him, he got 10, he got 10. Years. How long has he been in there for? Uh, he been in there for about three now. Okay. About three years. And um, he just shit like, like, I always used to, like, freestyle a little bit for him and shit, and he just finally just, like, just forced me, like, man, do that shit, man. Like, you the whole package, you know what I'm saying? Just give it a try. Just try it, you know what I'm saying? He was telling you that from the feds? Yeah, from the feds, you know what I'm saying? And In shit, person or on the phone? On the phone. Okay. Yeah, and shit, I gave it a, I ain't gonna lie, it took me about a cool week or two before I actually got in the studio linked up. Him and Star Command was calling me, blowing me up to come, and I finally came and gave it a try, and shit. Not even saying it like that. I mean, I booked like. Were, were you just rapping over the phone? With, in, with, who was with the other uh, other people there too? Uh, yeah, his homeboys, man. Believe it, they, like you know, he he like uh, a couple of them listening to the call or whatnot and shit. All of them put that pressure on. I'm gonna keep it real. When they heard me, they just like, yeah, man, go in, dog. Like, yeah, do it. That's you. Go crazy. Mm -hmm. For real. Um, was that hard on you when you were you close with your brother before he went in? Yeah, we super we two years apart, so we really more like homeboys. He's thirty two or twenty eight? He uh he's thirty two. Okay. I'm younger than him. Yeah. I got three brothers, I'm the youngest one. You're the youngest one? Yeah. So thirty two and thirty four. We all two years apart. Thirty four, sure. thirty two, and thirty. Mm -hmm. So that must have been hard for you then. Somebody yeah. that you grew up with your whole life and of obviously course. you're so close in the same age, you right, guys did everything exactly. together. Probably everything. sports, everything. Everything, man. I talked to him like I gotta like Shit, we used to talk every day. All right, bro, I gotta ask you this because this is awesome. <laughs> was was Grandma really a trapper? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> For real? Yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. talk about Grandma yeah. because she, I know Grandma inspired the high guy. She she a real OG man. She just like keep the gangster. That's giving me the game. You feel me? It's just you know she shit. She had a business. That's what she taught me how to do. Had a business. You know what I'm saying? And, you know. That's she still alive? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Super yeah. close with her? Super close to her. I love her. Like the devil. That's my. That's that's big. You feel me? So when you say she was trapping, like, can you give me some examples of? Like, 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 like you know, she said she just shit, yeah, really making, making move, making it happen, like, you know what I'm saying? She making money. Exactly. That's grandma, like, yeah. grandma's on the block, like, yeah. making money. You're making money, and she, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She's sticking and moving, like, she, she, she took advantage, like, showing me how to take advantage of your situation, like, you feel me? That's what she did, like, for real. Okay, so. 60 days ago is when the name Wayne Julio was created as well? Nah, nah, Wayne, Wayne Julio was created, oh, sh And how did that name even happen? Man, believe it or not, my, my pops, man, they used to call me, like, Wink, but it's like, you know what I'm saying, I got a slang, so it, it's really it's wink, like winking your eye. I used to, when I was a gotcha. kid, used to try to wink mine, I couldn't, you know what I'm saying, wasn't too good at it. And then it just came out slang, and then shit. But believe it or not, Julio just came out of no fucking way, dog. It's just, it just had a slang to it, like, I, my brother had put the Julio with it, shit. So I've interviewed other Florida artists, um, mm -hmm. not from Tampa. I interviewed Julio Julio, actually. Right, right, right. Julio. Uh, right. He's from he's from Jacksonville. Jacksonville, yep. Interviewed him. Um, he has some pretty cool music out right now. Yeah, of course. He's jamming. I interviewed Skeet McFlurry. Okay, Is yeah. he from... Skeet McFlurry. I think he's from Jacksonville as well. Okay, okay, yeah. But Florida has obviously an incredible talent out of there. Of course, hell yeah, yeah. How do you see yourself coming out of Tampa? Um, shit, I see myself, I, um, 
I, I feel like I got like a different style where even though I'm talking trap with it, it's like, I ain't just, I'm like big dog with it. I, I don't even want to say the other word, but I'm just say it down there like some, some drug lord type shit. Like I ain't, you know, I ain't talking about the, the kid on the block, I'm talking about. Making money. Making money, major moves, like for real. That's what type of like vibe I'm coming out with, you feel me? So growing up, what was it like for you growing up in Tampa Bay? Um, shit, awesome. I ain't even gonna lie, I love it. it ain't, I travel a lot, so it ain't nothing like my city. I feel like, 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 you feel me? The sun always shining. You feel me? Um, shit. My first time ever in Tampa was literally like a couple months ago. Yeah? Yeah, it was my first time ever there. And then I, sp I spent a couple days at the, at the studio with Star Command. Oh, okay, okay. With yeah, Antonio yeah, Brown was up there. I was oh, up, up there with him. I'm trying to tell you, hell yeah, bro. Um, What's, what you like? Did you shit? We got nice women. Did you see any? You, women are beautiful. Uh, I'm in Scottsdale, Arizona, though, okay. so I'm I'm like seeing women everywhere. You <laughs> anywhere, know what I'm saying? Anywhere, so yeah. <laughs> I'm seeing women everywhere, bro. But there was obviously beautiful women. In town. Okay, okay, that's good. Yeah, hell, yeah, I love our women. I'm gonna keep it real. Facts, facts. Mm -hmm. So, two months ago was when you said, okay, I'm going all in on music. Mm -hmm. Brother said you got to do this. He heard you freestyle over the mm -hmm. phone. Mm -hmm. What's coming then, bro? I know you're working with Star Command. I'm sure you are. I'm right, sure right, you guys right. have some projects together. Of course. Are you dropping singles right now? Or are you gonna? What are you gonna do? Um, Have you dropped anything yet? Uh, I got, I got, I dropped right now. I got two singles out right now. Um, one called "Traveling for a Living." I got the visual to that. I got another one called "Next Tuesday," and I got the visual to that. And what I'm trying to do, I'm actually trying to build my fan base up just a little bit more. So probably drop maybe about maybe two or three more singles. And my project that I got coming out is called "Wink of America." Wink of America, and yep. this is your first project. This may be my first project. Yep. And um. I might have, I'm shooting for, not now, but that's my goal, like, I'm shooting for maybe, like, maybe uh, two, like, you know what I'm saying, features, like, you know, maybe, like, somebody in the game, and that's far in the game, and somebody that's, like, you know. Local, that's. Exactly. With local. some buzz. Right, exactly, yep. So, singles, obviously, now, maybe a tape later on for the, at the end of the year. Mm -hmm. um, let me ask you this, then. Production-wise, is it going to be mainly Star Commander, or are you working with a few? Um, right now, I've been doing Starkman. I've been very comfortable with him. Like, he just, he found out my sound. Like, we just, chemistry just there. But don't get me wrong, I, like, you know, I definitely got to move my feet to the floor. So, I have a lot of brands, labels, industry people, artists that watch my show. What separates you from other artists that I've interviewed? Um, I'm going to keep it real. Not saying it like that. I got a team. Like, and I ain't just an artist. I'm like... I'm the CEO too. I got my own label, like you feel me. So that was my next question. You, you get what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm building a brand, not just me at the same time. Like I got other artists too as well. So that's where. So it seems like business might be just as important as the music for you. Of course, exactly. Like you know, like um, and the crazy thing is, my brother was rapping before me. It was really like like opposite. Like you feel me? And he's like, man, just just try it. Like you feel me? Like keep that shit going. And, and that's what we did. So I already had like a business mind as a CEO with it. So, you know, and I, but what I, I kind of realized certain stuff that I was missing, like a team. So you feel me? Like a manager, uh, a role manager, my personal manager, you feel me? Um, my shit, the producer, everything like so investors, I got all it, like, you know? The fact that you're bringing this up right now, I kind of want to bring someone up too. Mm -hmm. um, the company that has been out here working with us, you know, for these interviews is called Rat Plug. Okay. And you just brought up that, you know, you're, you're kind of, you know, got the business, you're, you're doing the management, you got the artists and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. What's dope about what Rat Plug's doing too is, is for instance, even Jeter, you know, people are going to be able to see what Jeter's day to day is right. um, with working with obviously Rick Ross and to work with somebody at that big of a statue, right, right, what right. goes into that, right? Mm -hmm. um, I think that's, that's huge to have seminars, to have classes and to have content that you can get to learn even for your own label, right? Cause of course. There's things that you probably don't even know it's right now. A lot of stuff I don't know. It's or pick the brains of the goats that do know what's man. up. You know what I'm saying? And I'm definitely willing to do that. I'm like willing. Like I'm not no stubborn or prayer. Like I'm very open-minded. Like I don't feel like I know it all, and I'm trying to learn the game. Like you feel me? So let's talk the label then. What's the label's name? Uh, BSM. I mean, it stands for uh, Bell Sticks and Money. Or uh, you know what I'm saying? Really, Bell Sticks and Money and Black Star Music, and not the color. Like it's not spelled B L A C K. You know what I'm saying? Because it's not a color. It's, a, it's spelled B-L-A-K. It's like a, a way of living life. Like, shit, brother love all us kin. That's that's what it stands for. So we treat each other like with respect. You know what I'm saying? How you want to be treated, you know? And shit. And be a monster all the time. And you said you have artists that you, that are signed or that are you're talking to? Nah, they actually like signed. Like, you know, we paperwork. Like You got paperwork? Yeah, we got paperwork. Yeah. 
I'm going to keep it real too like this. Ben. LLC, everything's LLC, that perfect. Because a lot of people come in here and like, yeah, I got a label, I got a business. Okay, and then I ask them, are you trademarked? You got an LLC? LLC. You got a business bank account? I got a business bank account. You don't account. got a business unless you got a business bank account. I got a business bank account. I got, the biz I got a business bank account, business credit card. I'm with now. Smart. Right, you know what I'm saying? I got a, uh, shit, I know the business score, the bi business pay that score. You got to, you know. So you got the business side down. You, you, you know what's coming. That's the most important part. I feel like you're not a... A real artist if you don't like you know what i'm saying i feel like the more you take serious that's when people take you serious so let me ask you this then you got your own label mm -hmm. what if somebody said you know what i like what you're doing mm -hmm. i like your sound i like your music we want to sign you mm -hmm. what happens then okay if what happens then if it, if they talking right and everything sounds good i'm gonna take that opportunity just as a business opportunity and still investing to my label it had kind of hand the label over to somebody else exactly in the meantime. of course yep and like, you know, shit, cause me and, me and my brother, we 50-50, we, we the both the CEO, the owners of the label, so. The brother that's locked up right now. Yep. So really, what can wind up happening too is while he's doing his time, yep. you could be building the whole business for him. Whole and when he gets out. That's all on here. I told him I'm sitting back, my feet kicked back. Okay. So <laughs> you know let me ask you this. Um, I've interviewed people that have been incarcerated, mm -hmm. that have been out of jail, in jail, mm -hmm. prison, whatever. I've known a few of my friends, stuff like that. I always. Were you there when he was sentenced and, and when he was walked away for the 10 years? Uh, I wasn't. Um, I wasn't. My mom, you know what I'm saying? He definitely, my mom, my grandma, a lot of support. There. How does somebody react to someone like that? How did they say he reacted to that? I know, yeah. I'm sure he's tough and you know all that. But... I'm going to be honest with you, man. He, it, it was, he really was looking more time than that. He said he never, he had to, he never thought that he had to pray for 10 years. Like he was in a, like, that was that bad. That was, that was, that was, he could have got a lot more. He could have got a lot more, bro. So it was almost like a blessing for it him. It was, a, definitely was a blessing. And like the feds, like different, bro. It's like not state. He like went to feds, like that lawyer shit ain't gonna really help you in the feds. You know what I'm saying? They got you, they got you. Like it is what it is. So he, you know, he was praying for that shit. And definitely, you know, kept it solid. He didn't do no crazy no right right, right. Nah, he kept it solid just so he did he's doing 10 and i think in feds got to do what 85 percent yep got to do 85. so he got about another five years yep. yep was it hard on your family when he went in of course man his son he got a son so that's my nephew so i gotta you're you know, watching out for him now yeah of course yep make sure he's super straight you know what i'm saying he is uh my mom shit, my dad like that i definitely what was the first him. like the first call when you talked to him when he when he went in like, man, he was just like, he just kept repeating, like, man, I played, I played, dog, I played. Like, basically saying, like, I fucked up. I'm like, oh, man. Because, like, like, once you get that sentence and you realize this is my home for the next yeah. eight, nine, ten years, like, it becomes real. You know exactly. what I mean? All the court case is over with now. I swear, bro. And That's it becomes real life shit. Yep. For me, the hardest thing for me would be, like, if I was married or if I had a girl, would it be to leave her or, you know, obviously my family. Right. You know, you think of your grandparents that are older, like your grandma, That's will it. she be around in 10 years? Right, you know I what I mean? Those are the things that I'd be thinking. Yeah, we're wasting, yeah. you know, we're missing time with loved yeah. ones, with family, with friends, mm -hmm. but business. But what's dope about this situation is the, whatever we can make light of it, right. is the fact that you're out here trapping, yep. rapping, yep. got the label, yep. um, bros in jail, but you guys are business partners. Business he's making partners. he's making bread right now. Of course, man, he not know, and then he not, like the funny thing. Can, can he watch this interview in prison somehow? Is of there any course, way? Okay. Man, he like, I want to be popular in the feds, bro. Yeah, man, he a player, man, he ain't <laughs> no, no, nah. That's what I'm saying, then he ain't like no, like, not, not saying like that, yeah, it's 10 years, but that shit ain't holding him down, he really like. In good spirits now. Yeah, he's here. He's been right? there for three years, so exactly. he, he's now counting him down. Right, and this not his first bid or nothing, like, you know, this is the first time in fair, he didn't, you know, did state prison, but he head high, he know, he, he ready to, like, when he get out, he mind on the, on the billion. Have you done time before? Yeah, but not state, I did like county. Like, okay. I ain't never. You know months at a time, stuff like that. Yeah, I did a couple months, shit. So who's your favorite artist out of Florida? You know, obviously um, mine's gonna be, you know, we got Ross, Kodak, but. Yeah, believe it or not, I'm gonna say Kodak. Kodak, my favorite artist out of Florida, yeah. Did you hear his track that it's on Future's album today, Voodoo? It's pretty good. Uh, nah, I didn't, I gotta check that out. Future's pretty, album's banging, it's I awesome. can't get past the first four songs, they too hard, man. For real? I swear to God, them bitches, I've been listening to them. Up that's there. a good thing, though. Swear, yeah. yeah, that's a great 7 p.m., right, yeah, open up with that, yeah. man, them bitches, what about No Cap? You like No Cap? For sure. That's my, that's my, my that's my favorite artist, just. No Cap? Yeah, yeah. Favorite artist? Yeah, favorite artist. Who's yeah. like your top three? No Cap, Gucci Man, and Future. Yep, that's my top three. So you're gonna be on that future album all day long. Yeah, of course. I'm like, damn, I'm glad he. What's yeah. funny, bro, is I used to come out here and gamble a lot on sports back in the day, mm -hmm. and um, I would link up with Young Scooter. You know, it's Young Scooter. Man, that's I'm, bro. Do I? Young Scooter was out here. He'd come out here, bro. Right. Alone. 
That's crazy. Sitting in the MGM, right? It's just straight, young scooter, straight up, and he'd have a suitcase with hundreds and thousands, fifty thousand a game. It's straight up. <laughs> and me and him would just gamble, bro. I didn't have that. Up. I was betting like three, five hundred. I would right. have that kind of money. Yeah, but. yeah, bro. What the fuck? He seemed like old gambler, man. He cool as hell. Like young scooter is real like genuine, him. bro. Yeah, I could tell, man. He didn't buy his music or whatnot. Like you know, he just. Seem like you're an authentic person. So. And him and Future are like this. Yep. He was telling me stories. Young Scooter was telling me stories how he was locked up in the same cell with Gucci Mane. No. Oh, yeah, I thought that was crazy. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. What the hell? They're super close. You know, yeah. uh, all of them are super close. Right, straight up. Yep. So, yeah. um, what would be a dream feature for you then? A dream feature? What? Like if you're going to drop your EP and you can have one big local artist, who would that be? And if you could have one big artist, who would that be? Um... I'm gonna keep it real. It'll probably be. Uh, I'm gonna have to go with the no cap for the, the big future, and then the local I probably go with like, like even Florida. Like you want me to keep it real? I really, I know I sound kind of different, but the, you you heard of Boston Richie, and uh, from Tallahassee. You, I haven't. Man, future the one who. Matter of fact, future and school young scooter they've been co-signing him lately though. But he like if you check him out from Tallahassee, but he like what's his name? Boston Richie. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll check him out. Yeah, he's like a nice, like, uh, like nice up and coming. He had three bands just fucking with him, so yeah, like, like heavy too. Matter of fact, I don't know the truth, but like I ain't trying. I think I overheard like he got a feature with, with future and all. I don't know if. It, you right. know what I'm saying? Ain't my business, but I hope it is. For sure. You know? It's crazy because that's how our, you know, artists are elevating nowadays. Right. You know, and get a good feature. And, good feature. But what I want to see is this. What I want to see artists do mm -hmm. is when you get the feature, bro, mm -hmm. make sure the artist is behind your project, bro. Exactly. You know, even if you have to spend the money, bro. I want to put it on the page. I want to do everything. If you're spending the money on the feature, right. don't half-ass it. Right. Because if you and the artist don't have a genuine connection, genuine relationship, mm -hmm. it's a business deal at that exactly. point, right? Right. And what a lot of artists are doing is they're half-assing their business deals, meaning, right. yeah, let's get the feature and then they never hear from the artist again. They're not promoting it, right. nothing like that. So what I would do is, listen, we respect you as an artist. Mm -hmm. We understand this is what it costs to work with you. Right. But we need the music video. We need you to be behind the music video. Mm -hmm. We don't want you just to hop in a studio and make a song in 10 minutes. You know what I mean? Like, let's right. get behind That's the real the music. Time. You right. know what I mean? Exactly. Real music takes time. Yeah, yeah, of course. You're absolutely right. And then I'm not even trying to compare them two, but just both of it, No Cap and Future album, I mean, album great. But... What I like you just said, like what I peeped about no cap, his sound like he more album mode, like he put his time. Future mixed uh, tape was great. It sounded more like a mixtape, but back to this the, album was back to the hundreds, but right, exactly. Like he just straight getting street shit. He just you know what I'm saying, no cap the beat. You could tell he put took his time on a couple of those songs, and that shit hard. For sure. So listen, bro, I would say that this obviously is gonna be a major year for you mm -hmm. because the grinds there right now. You're hungry. Yeah, yeah, yo, you're doing this not just for yourself. You got a brother you're doing this for. You got yeah, grandma. You got yeah, the family. So yeah. this is going to be, a, you know, it's a different situation for you now. You're not just doing this for yourself. Nah. You got kids too? Yeah, I got two little boys. So we got a lot going on. You know yeah. what I mean? You got a lot of mouths to feed. Yeah. Um, and that's what we're going to do. So right now, I got Wayne Coolio here. We're in Las Vegas. Yes, um, I love the vibes. We know a lot of the same people. Mm -hmm. I'm coming to Tampa. Um, when I hit you, mm -hmm. we're going to link up with Star Command. We're going to grab some lunch. Um, I know you're going to have a lot of new music then as well. Of course. Well. Hell yeah, man. Let everybody know right now where you want them to find you, what music you want them to listen to, because you got two songs out. Let them know about yeah, that. Of course, man. Wayne Coolio, man. Wayne underscore Julio underscore BSM on Instagram. You can go on my YouTube. Just type in Wayne Coolio. I, I got two singles out, one called Trapping for a Living. Uh, I got the visuals out on all platforms. I got the, another one out called Next Tuesday. That's also on all platforms, iTunes, Spotify, everything, YouTube. Nah, man, you know, I definitely got some more shit coming soon. I promise you. Good story. Mm -hmm. um, good person. Yeah. Good artist. Yeah. I'm looking for a lot of stuff to come from him. It's coming. Shout out my family over at Maybach Music Group. We have Jeter K here. Sorry. Rat Plug, Brandon Chris. Make sure you guys are checking out Rat Plug's event coming up at the end of this month. Also, Rick Ross's car show is going to be the 21st at the Promised Land. RickRossCarshow.com is where you guys can purchase tickets. Make sure you go up with that. We got the Bel Air here. We actually really busted it open right now. The gold bottle. Gold We're getting it up. It's Vegas. It's, what is today, Friday? Friday night. Friday, man. Friday night. We going up uh, the Vegas way, yeah. the Wayne Coolio way. Yeah. The Matty Ice Show way. Yeah, we did it again. I'm working yeah. with Weasel. Straight up. We up. Yeah. My dog. Yes, sir. You know, the constant progression, but I, I figured out too, like I knew, but I ain't lost. It definitely take a lot of money. I'm gonna keep it real. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it real to you so <laughs> things, but I ain't tripping about it because I know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? I like to execute. I ain't a person that starts something and don't like to finish. You know, I don't want to. As a musician, this is one, this is one 
one business or one thing that it, what you put into yourself is what you get out of it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It doesn't take money, it does. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It takes money just to, you know, it does take money. And I, and, I don't, and I don't mean even take money to get your music out there so much. I mean, it take money just to get prepared to do this the right way. Right. Wardrobe. That's what you I'm know what I'm saying? Get into, oh, you know what I'm saying? Cameras, <laughs> this, that. So, yeah. For real. It does start to add up. It takes money. But that's how you can tell who wants it and who really going to get it because they're going to put the money and the time into themselves. You're building yourself. Right.